essentially Hunter Island was an area that was utilized by the Sinawa Native Americans. They quote unquote sold it to Pell, a settler from Europe around 1609 or so. It was eventually kept in his family and then sold to Hunter in the early 1800s. Hunter, who was a banker and an entrepreneur in the New York City area, built a mansion there in 1804, and it survived until 18, uh, 1937. Hunter Island was incorporated into Orchard Beach by Robert Moses in 1937. They took dredge landfill from the area off of the Rockaways and used it to actually fill in the area between Orchard Beach and Hunter Island, actually connecting both of uh, the areas together. So Hunter Island today, and then Twin Island just next to it, are areas that you could get to just from Orchard Beach. That rock is actually sacred to the Native Americans who used to live here. They would have the ceremonies, like, you know, just like sort of, um, I guess, harvest ceremonies or, you know, sort of seasonal ceremonies at the rock itself. Sometimes what happens is a big old oak tree might get infested with ants and get hit by a hurricane or, you know, a storm or something. It gets knocked down and it sort of rips a hole in the canopy so then you have sunlight on the ground and colonizing trees will then start growing and as soon as they can, they're very opportunistic. Other times, if you get like a forest fire going through here, and I think there was one because as we go around this way, you'll see a couple of trees along the way where they're like sort of burnt out. It kills a lot of stuff and it sort of clears everything and it allows uh, new trees to come in and to sort of recolonize the area. As time goes on, you'll have one or two sassafras trees, bigger ones that have been able to survive spread out. Then you'll get tulip trees growing in, you'll get oak trees growing in. And over time, the forest goes from a field to a couple of, you know, a whole bunch of some saplings to eventually, a couple hundred years from now, a lot of bushes that knee height and just like a couple of big oak or hickory trees sort of spread around. Because uh, the type of forest that usually develops over time in this area in northeastern New York is called the oak hickory forest, meaning that as long as that pine trees aren't predominant in the area and they sort of crowd out everything if they can, you'll eventually just get oaks and hickories. From what I remember from geology class, I mean, all of this was sort of layered like layers of a cake, and then it just gets distorted completely just in geological processes. I mean, this right here, this like sort of backwards S, at one time would have just been, you know, layered normally, and it just gets distorted completely. It's, pretty, it's really pretty. It's incredible, yeah. Looks like nature intended the, the design.